In this lesson, we'll cover the end-to-end -end argument, as discussed in the paper End-to-End -end Arguments in System Design by Saltzer, Reed, and Clark in 1981. In a nutshell, the end-to-end -end argument reads as follows. The function in question can completely and correctly be implemented only with the knowledge and application standing at the endpoints of the communication system. Therefore, providing that question function as a feature of the communication system itself is not possible. Essentially, what the argument says is that the intelligence required to implement a particular application on the communication system should be placed at the endpoints rather than in the middle of the network. Commonly used examples of the end-to-end -end argument include error handling and file transfer, encrypting end-to-end -end versus hop-by-hop -hop in the network, and the partition of TCP and IP of error handling, flow control, and congestion control. Sometimes the end-to-end -end argument is summarized as the network should be dumb and minimal, and the endpoints should be intelligent. Many people argue that the end-to-end -end argument allowed the internet to grow rapidly because innovation took place at the edge in applications and services rather than in the middle of the network, which can be hard to change sometimes. Let's look at one example of the end-to-end -end argument, error handling and file transfer. 